Half-Life before is a Half-Life 1 mod. Single player, it's a story. It takes place before the events of Half-Life 1, apparently. And it takes place on a boat. And I'm going to guess this is the Borealis. Because I don't know what other kind of boat would be in the Half-Life story. And you're a scientist or something, and you're doing stuff, and there's aliens on the boat, and... AGCU. Hazardous environment cleanup units on there. Shooting stuff. And basically you go from one side of the boat to the other, and you talk to this guy who says some really ill-formed sentences and gives you this med kit for no reason and then he moves the crane and that's about it and you go back and make your way home there are custom weapon models they look cool they make me feel like I'm shooting real guns in real life and on a real boat and there are no custom enemies except the grunts they, they suck anyway it's really short though the game is it's only like 30 minutes it starts off really easy and then by the end it's real hard and then it, it likes to quick it likes to autosave all over the place like you go up some steps and like two seconds later you get auto saved and the problem with this is like after every single enemy encounter you get like you're down to five health if you're playing on hard which is a bad idea because the game's really really hard if you're playing on hard so you have like three health and you auto save and there's no health around which is, which is not good it makes it some points of the game impossible and overall the game's alright I guess it's really goddamn hard on hard the boss is really good. Look at look at the boss. It's really stupid. It's like a miniature um, Nihilith, but he's upside down. I don't even know. Boring. I get the song. I think I get the song. This Half Life One mod. A, a one out of one out of two. One out of two. It's got a soundtrack. If you're listening to the song, it's the soundtrack. It's, got, it's pretty. It's all right. It's stupid. Don't listen to me. It sucks. 